Hi, and welcome back. My name's Simon, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to make natural cordage from stinger nettles. The stalks of them are very fibrous, um, and they lend themselves really nicely to, to weaving into string. Um, so for a few minutes' work, you can create something really, really useful. So basically, you need the stalk of the, uh, of the nettle, and gloves obviously are helpful just avoid you getting stung and if you just trim it to trim it to length um, you'll see there's all these little nodes on here which we'll deal with in a minute but um, a good thing to do here is just to rub it with a pair of gloved hands and just remove all the all the little needle like um, spines on it which are which which are what sting you so I'm just going to deal with these nodes here which are hard hard bits if you imagine like bamboo um, garden bamboo cane you have these nodes running up bamboo as well and um, and they're just uh, you know they're, they're hard bits and then between are a much softer fiber so if you just take the back of your knife or anything a, a rock or whatever you like whatever you've got at hand and just crush those gently not too much you don't want to flatten them you just want to break them up a little bit okay just the nodes just to soften them Okay, and then just go along and flatten the rest of the the rest of the stalk like this. And then you should be able to find a point where you can open it up. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just running my thumb up the stalk like this and and separating it into two, opening it up basically. Yeah. So inside you'll see there's this this fibrous pithy center we don't need that what we want are the fibers on the outside they're the bits that we're going to make our string out of um, and there's a bit of a technique to removing the inner part what I tend to do is I tend to fold it over my finger like this okay until it breaks all right and you can see those fibers on the inside start to break off and then with your other hand you can just pull those up and out of the way and you can kind of run it down your finger if you've got a stubborn bit use the back of your knife or something just break them so you're getting rid of those bits careful not to break the outer the outer part that you need and what you should be left with are the are the very soft outer fibers those are the bits we need turn it around go back and take the rest of it off okay and you can discard that you don't need that okay so you've got your strands like this the next thing to do is to separate them into usable widths They'll naturally tear into lengths, but to have, it's quite difficult to have control over how, how much nettle you get in each bit, if you like. But um, try and keep them roughly the same width. That will help. Now, what I do is I fold mine in half, so that I've got an end, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to weave that, both pieces, if you see what I mean, down from that and it's just a matter of twisting okay so by pinching the end I'll just get those bits out of the way you're going to need the other bits incidentally in a minute because this will be a very short piece of string otherwise you need to add to it as you go along because you're going to run out of your working end okay so what you need to do is you need to twist in turn these two pieces of nettle okay but it's very important that you twist them in the same direction okay so if you're going to twist them away from yourself both pieces have to be twisted away if you twist one away and one towards yourself it'll just unravel it won't it won't hold itself into a into a, um, a twist a, a string like twist okay so holding the end I'm gonna start by just pinching it between my thumb and my forefinger and just roll it between your fingers until you start to get some traction on it twist pinch twist pinch and you should have coming out the back of your fingers your string very very strong nettle string it was used for centuries well probably thousands of years by people for all sorts of uses it had uh, uses for fishing bindings all sorts of things okay it's very strong indeed okay so I'm just keeping going taking it in turns moving it along, pinching it, and then out the back here, 
can start to see your string emerging. It does take a bit of a knack and it's something you have to practice and you'll just get a feel for how it works. Okay, so I've nearly got to the end now. There's my string there and I'm getting towards running out of nettle. So I'm going to take another piece and that's the thick end. Okay, so I've got my two, my two ends. One is a thin end, one is a thick end. I'm going to use the thick end on the thin end and literally I'm just going to lay it across and twist it with it. Twist it around the bit that you've just been working with. Twist them together and sort of splice it in. And then take the thin end of your other one. Do the same. Twist it. Splice it in. You'll end up with a little scraggy bit sticking out of the string, but you can just trim that off afterwards. Okay, and the new bit is now twisted into the original bit and you can carry on going and obviously you can keep doing that as many times as you want to make your string really nice and long and usable. It takes time, it does take a long time but this is the sort of thing that people have done hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, in the evenings you know, around the fire, something that needed to be done and quite an enjoyable thing to do as well actually, I could spend hours doing this something very simple and rhythmic about it. In that short period of time I've made a bit that long so it does take quite a long time, okay? But it's nice. Well I hope you found the video helpful on how to make string out of stinger nettles. Um, please watch my other video on, uh, on stinging nettles as a, as a wild edible. And uh, Trev, I hope this helps. See you on the next one.